Hey guys, this is Sohinky from Mahalo Games, and this is an educational video on Fight Night Champion for the Xbox 360. For more videos in this series, please visit mahalo.com slash fnchampionwt, and if you have any requests, please tweet us at video games. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Continues, and we are glad to be here with you. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds among highly competitive flyweights. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. All the talk. Now the fight. Round one scheduled for ten. Can he keep up with his knockout winning ways? That's the question everybody wants answered tonight. Well, with success comes more challenge, too. His opponent knows what he's been doing lately, so he's going to be well prepared, well worn. Not much action as he just ties up. Fires right back at him. Able to dismiss it. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Well, you tell me. You know what both of these guys bring to the table. You see them in front of you. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. He's the kind of guy that can change a fight in an instant. Remember, even in these early goings, he has the power to end an evening. Yeah, don't go to the refrigerator. Well, you know what? You can go, but don't open up the soda, whatever you have. Come right back. Each man able to land an uppercut. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Oh, what an uppercut. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Nice combination there. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Unable to land that shot. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. End of the round here. And you can see that label of volume puncher was made for this guy as the punch stats prove true. Yeah, he doesn't care really where he hits you. It makes you think of those stories you used to hear in the old days. Maybe your grandfather, maybe your father talked about Rocky Marciano. Loved that guy, former heavyweight champ of the world. He'd hit you anywhere. He didn't care. Back of the head, he hit you on the arms, and he saw breaking you down. This guy doesn't care. He just rolls. Cut. He's in bad shape. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get... He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Clearly hurt, but holding on. He's hugging him like he just got home for Christmas. <laughs> oh, 
And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. And he returns on that exchange. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Locks it away. Good fundamental work landing the one-two there. Now this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just the sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. They both decide to bring it. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence Relax. growing in a fight. He was Relax. able to stun his man in that right? last round. And you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. Well, I agree with you, Joe. You it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else. Okay. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Well, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Taking a bit of a breather here, just tying up, hugging his opponent at this point. Hey, look, even the great race cars, Indianapolis 500, bing, 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 zing, zing, zing. They're going around that track, 250 miles an hour. They pull in for a pit stop. They got to get refueled. This is pit stop. Give a little gas. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. He is stunned, but somehow manages to have the wherewithal to hold on. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Can you believe that? What a change of Big, big shot comes crashing home. He is floored by a big uppercut. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. He's trying to get some energy back, and now he's tying up his opponent, just wasting some minutes. Yeah, it takes two to tangle, though. He's wasting minutes, and his opponent's going along with it. He's cooperating. He shouldn't be. He's going to be sorry later when he recovers and he gets after him. That was off the mark. Targeting that body now with the hook. 